Optimus Prime is iconic. From G1 to the Bayverse movies to current day, Optimus Prime is a recognized fictional character worldwide. The Transformers was made to sell toys, and the fact that Optimus is present in nearly every version of the franchise means that there have been many, many Optimus Prime toys. Optimus has had more toys than any other character, including Bumblebee, and the crazy thing is people don't seem to be sick of him. <laughs> in just the past year, I've seen seriously positive talk about the new animated Optimus, Reactivate Optimus, Gamer Edition Optimus, Mainline Rise of the Beast Optimus, and Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus. Same figure, same guy by the way, same guy. <laughs> now, from my point of view, I think Optimus has a certain Spider-Man quality, where he always holds the same views but has slightly different circumstances and characterization, but the core of him is always there. So, in some ways it's a lot easier to swallow buying so many versions of the same guy, because he really does hit different notes in each version. In animated, he's a young Autobot that ended up repairing space bridges because he made a mistake. In the Bayverse films, he's a bloodthirsty warrior at the end of his rope. They both are kind and care for humanity, despite their personal problems. They both have a compassionate core. Anyway, this video is about Optimus Prime toys that turn into random stupid shit. What's good, internet? It's your boy Jake here, dumb as ever. Before we start talking about these weirdo Optimus Primes, if you could give me a like and subscribe if you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it, man. It'll help me with that guy Algae Rhythm that keeps harassing me. And if you'd like to support me further, please consider joining my membership. It's a dollar a month and you get access to a private Discord server where we just chill and talk about Transformers, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, all that cool stuff. We'll also be doing some member exclusive videos in the future, unboxings of figures if you're into that. So yeah, if you want to help me out even more than just pass the like and subscribe, that's how you can do it. Let's get into the video. Now, let's lay some groundwork here. What is a weird Optimus Prime? Now, this is going by my discretion and my description, but I believe a weird Optimus Prime is one that does not turn into something you would expect, like a truck or a fire truck. <laughs> He even turned into an alligator in one of the G1 episodes for some reason. I'm not watching that. And I would accept him turning into an alligator as sort of a normal Optimus Prime because at least there's a reason for it. Most of these figures are literally a brand wanted to collaborate with Hasbro so they just made a random product turn into Optimus Prime. Now, this is by no means a complete list, and if you know any other weird Optimus Primes, please drop it in the comments below because I just love looking at these things. Let's start off with an item I actually own, surprisingly enough. I own one of these weird Optimuses. I will say this is the least weird Optimus Prime, and this guy goes by the name of Pepsi Optimus Prime, or Pepsi Prime, or Pepsi Convoy. In Japan, apparently Pepsi Convoy is meant to be a different character, but in America we just called him Pepsi Optimus Prime. So you were able to get this figure from a special contest called Transform Your Summer, which which Pepsi did with Yahoo. And you could get a whole bunch of prizes, grand prize, an Xbox, blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares. All TFW2005.com cares about is that Pepsi MF and Optimus Prime. And thankfully, they cared about it so much they made a whole long thread that I could read 17 years later. Basically, the way it worked was you would buy a Pepsi product, it would have a code on the cap, and you would insert that code onto the website. I get the impression from the thread that Pepsi would not tell you if you won or not, and people only found out they won at the end of the contest when things got mailed to them. For example, Pepsi Prime. Now, my stepdad actually did this contest for me. I, I don't know if I really knew what was going on at that time. It was 2007, so my stepdad 
entered a whole hell of a lot of codes. He would talk to people at his job and get extra codes and stuff because they didn't care. And we ended up with two Pepsi Optimus Primes. Because I was a child and a, <laughs> and I couldn't help myself, essentially, I opened the Pepsi Optimus Prime that he gave me. I put my grubby little fingies all over it. I lost Optimus's hands immediately. His hands for the G1 toy come off, if you didn't know. Uh, just completely lost those, like, instantaneously as soon as they were out of the box they were gone. But I love this guy. For a long time, he was, like, the one Optimus Prime I held on to. I still have him today, which is pretty impressive for me uh, in terms of toys like I've lost a lot of stuff over the years. What's interesting to me is that I found out that this is not the first Pepsi Optimus Prime believe it or not. There was actually one from 1985 which is what the 2007 figure is based on. The 1985 version of Optimus Prime just came with some Pepsi stickers it seemed like to apply yourself just in the middle of his trailer so way less brand integration than the 2007 one. Oh my god and I forgot the best part of Pepsi Optimus Prime, his trailer. So this trailer is different from the G1 version. It's flat with some arms on it, some unmovable arms, and you can slot in a soda bottle so he can carry around a soda bottle, preferably Pepsi, I'd imagine. But it was honestly a really fun toy for me as a kid because I would use it as like a platform a lot or Optimus Prime could carry around other Transformers. So that made it really fun. But just the thinking about it as an adult about like why does this thing exist promotion brand promotion and brand promotion only there's no like real lore behind any reason why optimus prime would need to be pepsi themed in a very similar vein let's talk about music label convoy dash dash playing ipod speaker <laughs> real name by the way i call him ipod prime as you should as well I mean, I'd be for real, as a kid, no one I knew had an iPod. I don't think so, anyway. The first iPod I ever handled was an iPod Touch, so not too dissimilar to the phones we use these days. So, <laughs> this is embarrassing. I don't even know how, like, it works. Like, I don't know how you, like, operate it with the buttons or whatever. I could never figure it out just by looking at it. But anyway, iPod Prime is just Ultra Magnus. <laughs> Literally just a white version of Optimus Prime, and then his trailer is an an iPod speaker. Who wants to bet that this Optimus Prime listens to you too? Okay, let's move those guys aside. They're Optimus Prime G1 toy repaints with funny trailers. Not really that crazy, just kind of weird. Let's get into the truly bizarre Optimus Prime toys. Uh, real quick, before we move on, actually, uh, it's me. I recorded the audio you're hearing a while ago, and I just wanted to add a couple things. First things first, this holiday Optimus Prime that I did not want to talk about <laughs> I now have to talk about it because my channel member Rain on Discord let me know that this Optimus Prime was actually supposed to be an Amazon truck. For some reason, it never got made, but this mold was originally going to be an Amazon Prime truck, Optimus Prime. A literal, a literal Optimus Prime. Prime Prime? Would he be Prime Prime? So yeah, anyway, Prime Prime was a thing. And also, they just announced a Target-themed Optimus Prime, <laughs> which is certainly interesting. This Optimus Prime comes with a remold of the Ravage cassette into the Bullseye mascot for Target, so that's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't hate it. I, you'll hear about some ones I hate in a second. This one, it's pretty, it's pretty funny. <laughs> the art on the packaging is good too. He's throwing one of those big target balls. But anyway, let's actually get back to what I was about to say, which is this Optimus Prime turns into a sneaker. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my God, no way. Like, bro, how am I supposed to intro this uh, this concept? This is an Optimus Prime that turns into a sneaker. He comes in a funny little sneaker box. Uh, there's only one of him, so one single sneaker. The sneaker itself is very, very small. About the size of, like, a baby's foot. Like, literally that type of shoe. Baby shoes. Never transformed. Like, this is such an unhinged collab, especially because the robot mode looks like trash. The articulation looks terrible. The kill 
kibble is bad. Look at those giant shoulders. I have to admit, I do love that he's actually wearing sneakers in robot mode. I mean, it makes sense. It makes perfect sense, but it's just funny. Freedom is the right of all sentient beings. I was watching some videos about fake KO versions of this toy, and I just think it's especially funny because there's a well-documented fake sneaker problem. Now there's also a well-documented fake sneaker that turns into a robot problem. Well, shoes aren't the only piece of drip you can get as a Transformer. You can also get a little hat. Now this hat is smaller than even a baby could wear. <laughs> And this guy's name is, mm, let me see here, <laughs> Captimus Prime? No cap, no cap. Oh, this guy does a spit cap. I don't trust the single thing this man says. I gotta give credit where credit's due, though. Captimus Prime does have a better design than the shoe. He's more cartoony, more silly, he's got duck feet. It just feels like they were not trying so hard to make an epic, cool figure. And his transformation is actually really fun. It's kind of like an animated activator's toy, where most of it is just spring-loaded and you just fix up a couple parts to make it look good. I'm not gonna lie, though, Optimus looking pretty fly with that hat. Okay, shoes, hats, whatever, clothing. Probably not a shirt Optimus Prime, thankfully, but is there anything useful, like a hammer or a screwdriver? A pin, okay, uh, yeah, sure, sure, a pin. Why not, why not? Dear Prime, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. We've ventured so far into weird territory that, like, I don't even know if a pen is that weird compared to a Nike shoe. It actually really helps that this pen Optimus Prime figure is actually kind of goaded for the time. The pen itself looks, like, incredibly uncomfortable to use for any length of time. Like, it's literally square-shaped. <laughs> But the actual Optimus Prime robot mode is basically G1 Prime. And he's like super poseable. He's like got double jointed arms. He's got ankle pivot. Ankle pivot in my Transformers pre-war for Cybertron Siege? I can't believe it. The coolest part about this guy is that his blaster is actually where the pin tip comes from. Which is revealed during the transformation and it kind of blew my mind when I first saw it. Now this is some stupid Transformers former engineering right here. Okay, let's go from one I kind of like to one I kind of hate. PlayStation Optimus Prime. Look, honestly, this is one idea that I really like. Like, there is some sick part of me that's like, ooh, a robot that turns into a little PlayStation. I love it. And I do love it. I love the little PlayStation mode. It comes with little discs. How cute. This Optimus Prime mode is so terrible. Like, all of them had been bad, but this one is just... I hate his stupid long legs, his tiny feet. Like, don't you think this could have been a way cooler sound wave figure? You know, maybe the desks could even transform or something into Ravage and Laserbeak. Like, wouldn't that be more fun and creative than just making a PlayStation that randomly turns into Optimus Prime? Like, they're trying to be creative with no creativity. <laughs> Does that make sense? Does that make sense to anyone but me? Optimus Prime that turns into an old flip phone. <laughs> this one was actually crowdfunded apparently. It had like its own HasLab for flip phone Optimus Prime. This is like if Hasbro made an Optimus Prime that turned into like a Motorola Razor or something. Like there are honestly way more weird Optimus Primes than I even thought there were when I started this video. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like the shamelessness is getting to me. Like, this character is such a hero to so many fans, and they just slap his face on any product that offers enough money. Like, yeah, I know, I know. Welcome to capitalism, noob. Like, I get it, but it still, it still sucks. <laughs> and, you know, I wouldn't say that these shouldn't exist. I, I, I think that'd be a little dramatic. I mean, I wouldn't get a funny video out of it. But they're just all so mid. Look had this power bank Optimus Prime. It's actually a working power bank, which is a nice change of pace. 
Okay, I'll stop being cynical for five seconds and let's talk about Bear Brick. Bear Brick is a collectible toy, kind of in the style of like Lego figures or Mega Bloks figures, but they're much more limited and rare, so they're more sought after by collectors. Bear Brick and Transformers work together to produce some transforming Bear Brick figures, and I kinda, I kinda F with them, to be honest. I think a Bear Brick is actually a really fun alt mode it's not boring like i feel like a power bank is kind of boring man optimus prime that turns into a funny little cartoon bear sure why not <laughs> i just think that's a lot more unique and fun and less of like an obvious promotional advertising type of deal the robot mode also actually looks like optimus prime what a nice change of pace Okay, this last one I'm gonna talk about, I don't even know what to think about it. I kinda like it, and I'm gonna sound like a hypocrite for kind of liking it because it's from a company that we all know for like extreme corporate greed, Disney. The Disney label <laughs> Mickey Mouse trailer. It's arguably not even an Optimus Prime toy. I just wanna say, I, I can already feel the comments radiating. Um, actually that's not even Optimus Prime, but this toy in its original colors is colored exactly like Optimus Prime. It turns into a truck trailer with Optimus Prime's colors. It's Optimus Prime, but he looks like Mickey Mouse for some reason. And there's like a little Mickey figurine. There's actually two on the toy. It's pretty interesting. One in the driver's cab that will flip up during transformation and another one that flips up onto Mickey Mouse's, the robot Mickey Mouse's head. This is confusing. It's just like Neon Genesis Evangelion. But I gotta say, there's a lot to like about this little guy. First of all, his vehicle mode is adorable. It kind of gives me animated Rekgar vibes a little bit, like just squished down. And the robot mode is like a cool mecha Mickey Mouse mixed with Optimus Prime vibes. Like, it shouldn't work. <laughs> But it does, and it does really well. So that was a bunch of Optimus Prime figures that turn into weird, weird alt modes. From a PlayStation to a bear brick, a literal ballpoint pen. Optimus has range, clearly. Leave it down in the comments. What do you think about all this? And thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and please consider checking out the membership option if you'd like to support me direct, because that is the best way to support me and my content. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna go get a little Caesars and relax. Peace.